Dharma Talks by Mogik Sayadaw. The 14th of October 1961. Nana I and Normal I. It is form that you can touch with the hand. Its nature is hot and cold, rise and fall and with tension happening in many different ways. It's changing and perishing. If know these things directly as seeing. It's the aggregates of form, rupa, or rupakhanda. Feeling aggregates are nama dharma, mind dharma. Sometime it's itching and vanishing. Sometime the mind is happy and then disappears. Whatever arises in the mind and follow their impermanence. Know them as arising and passing away. Knowing this is nana view. Feeling aggregates tell about them and disappear. You have to watch and observe them. Sitting on the bank of a stream, look at the water flowing by. Don't look at the upper and lower parts of the water flowing in and flowing down, but only look at one point. Observing the water is passing through this point. And you know it as not the water before is enough. Knowing it as not the form before, not the mind before etc. Is Vipassana Nana. Now, listen carefully to what I say. For example, you make a number 5 marked post in the water. Don't look anywhere. Only look at the water of number 5 marked post. Don't look at the water above flowing in and the water below flowing down. It is enough only knowing at the number 5 water as not the water before. Don't mix up the nana seeing with the eye seeing. The eye seeing is, a fire burns and dies out. It's only seeing the light and darkness. This is the eye seeing. Nana eye finds out this dharma not exists. The eye is seeing the differences, i.e., darkness and light. It doesn't reach toward Nibbana. Nana seeing is knowing him are not there, arise and disappear at the same spot. You must note down the differences. Nana seeing is the dharma before is not exist. And it's another type of dharma, i.e., emptiness. This is the real emptiness. Not a concept of nothingness, for example, on the arm there is an itch and later not exist. Knowing the same thing not there, the same thing as there and not there. This is nana seeing. Knowing different things is not nana seeing, these are the worldly knowing. Nana view and the views of eye, ear, and nose are different. Their views are not reaching toward nibbana. Nana view, mana view, mana equals mind, is the right one. The Buddha had said Pajanati must know with knowledge. If you see a man is eye seeing. Seeing the arising and passing away of the kanda is nana seeing. For example, scratching your arm with a fingernail. Feeling arises and disappears. But the arm is still there. This is nana view. Right view is nana seeing. Right thought, Sama Sankapa, is exposing to see it, in one of his talks Sayadaw gave similes for right view and right thought, the eye for right view and glasses for right thought, so that the eye can see clearer. Right mindfulness is reminding to be mindful. Right concentration is pointing at here, the object to be contemplated. Right effort is encouraging to develop nana seeing. Four of them are helpers, except right view. The eye can't see the arm in pain and its disappearance. Only Nana sees it. It is the penetration of things that reach towards Nibbana. The Buddha said, Kakamudapadi, eye seeing arises. This is not saying of the normal eye seeing. Therefore he continued to say, Nana Mudapadi knowledge arises. All are the same. It is Nana seeing. Every mind arises and know it as not exist is Nana knowing. So with Nana observes the Kanda. Molya Savali asked the Buddha, Ven. Sir, I want to know the Nana view. The Buddha said to him, Greed arises in your mind. Can you talk about its color and size? It is arising but you can't tell it. After that, greedy mind does not exist. Can you know it or not? This is Nana view. In the Satipatthana Sutta, it was said that whatever mind arises had to know it, Pajanati. Knowing is Nana. Knowledge knows impermanence. It is other people seeing or your own seeing.
It is Sandatiko, visible here and now. It knows the arising and falling. Why? The mind knows it after arising and falling. The arising and falling are before and the knowing is after. With listening Dharma and you also have to practice. Practice to know it yourself, Sandatiko. It becomes Samatha practice if you use the attributes of Dharma for prayers. It is Vipassana using it for knowing by you yourself. What are the differences between Samatha and Vipassana? For example, a greedy mind of hungry for food arises. After it arises and passes away. Is it still existing? You know it's arising and passing away, Sandatiko. It is becoming Vipassana. The greed of I want to eat so much not arise, i.e., clinging. Bodily and verbal actions are not arising either. It kills Tana, Upadana and Kama. Vipassana is cutting of the D. A. Process. Samatha suppresses Kalesa temporary only. It is a Kaliko giving the result without delay. If you possess Sandatiko and everything is finished. So do not go and ask others. Mahasi yogis are doing Kayanupasana, contemplation of the body, such as lifting, putting down, on walking etc. After doing for a long time and the Paramatta Dharma, ultimate reality of the phenomena, become apparent. Here is a mind wanting to eat arise. You contemplate and know it as not exists. What do you know? You know the vanishing mind. It's the Paramatta Dharma contemplates the Paramatta Dharma. Mind is Paramatta Dharma and Nana also. It's not resisting by concepts. The Buddha said, it was easy to contemplate without the resistance of bodily concepts. Every contemplation becomes a Kaliko because it cut off the D. A. Process. No Kanda process arises. It's not a good Kanda, i.e., D. A. Process Kanda or Kanda continues. You are alive with the Magga Kanda, Path Factors Kanda. It's a good Kanda. The Buddha and Arahants were alive with the Magga. It becomes the Akaliko only with the Sandatiko. Tana and Upadana cease, it is Nibbana. So next Kanda does not arise. You have to work with Sandatiko, i.e., seeing impermanence. Dharma Talks by Mogik Sayadaw, the 15th of October 1961. Insight Knowledge and Path Knowledge. After the insight knowledges and the path knowledge will arise. Do the practice and you will see it by yourself. Seeing the mind arises and vanishes is insight knowledge. One is observing by two, and you'll find it's arising and vanishing. Here one is phenomenon arises and two is the observing mind. The task to be carefully done is vipassana practice. After the insight knowledges and the path knowledge will arise. Do you have to expect for it? It happens to you without delay. Anantara Pakayo, proximity condition. The insight knowledge ceases and the path knowledge arises. If you ask in practice what have to be relied on. Don't think anything. If you have insight knowledge is enough. If you get it and path knowledge arises by itself, just continue to develop the insight knowledge. Getting the path knowledge is reaching to Nibbana. The important thing to be hold on to is insight knowledge. The path knowledge will arise by itself if the insight knowledge becomes mature enough. During the practice don't expect for it. Then Tana includes in it. The insight knowledge does not come to an end if Tana comes in, and then it can't see Nibbana. Your duty is following the impermanence. Anika and Magga, Anika and Magga, etc and follow like this. What is the benefit for it? Ignorance becomes thinning out and wrong view disappears. Tana also dies. Ignorance, craving and wrong view are ceased. Inside knowledge is driving away these things. It's eroding craving. Don't ask how many times for doing the Vipassana Magga. It depends on your Kalesa thickness that Vipassana practice has to make it becomes thinning out. A person with thick kalesa has to take longer for it. One has to wash away one's kalesa thickness with knowledge.
Nana. This is the answer you want. It becomes quicker if your Kalesa volume is little. I have to remind you that don't blame it on the perfection, Parami. It takes longer because of my few Parami. Don't give that kind of reason for it. The Buddha also taught that the insight knowledge ended and the path knowledge arose. I also taught it. Path knowledge still not arises is because of the Kalesa volume not finished yet. Do not have doubt on what is happening. Kalesa not becomes thin out for the path knowledge to arise. Do not take it as, I have few parami and maybe cannot get it in this life. The parami is completed if you are discerning impermanence. It takes a bit longer if your Kalesa volume is big. It will take quicker if it is small. You have to make decision in this way. Kalesa becomes thin and Anaka becomes apparently clear. After that it abandons the process of the impermanence. You do not see it, i.e., impermanence. At that time path knowledge arises in a flash. In practice, this is making a decision for you. You have to stay with impermanence if path knowledge is still not arising. The path knowledge can has the chance to arise when all defilements are cleaned up by the insight knowledges. And then you become a Sotapanna. In Samyutta Nikaya, the Buddha only taught two knowledges as, after insight knowledge and path knowledge arose. Whatever mind arises, observe and discern it not there. You get the insight knowledge. With Nana discerns impermanence once and it clears up defilement once. It is doing the job of making Kalesa becomes thin. I have to talk about Anantarapakayo, proximity condition. In human world, a human being dies. After that the birth consciousness instantly arises in the heavenly world or hell. Is there any gap between them? This is Anantarapakayo, proximity condition. Inside knowledge ceases in a flash after Kalesa becomes thin out. It substitutes with Nibbana, and you do not see impermanence, instead you only see Nibbana. It is our duty to get inside knowledge. I have to show the process of the practice before I am talking about Bhikkhu Sati. You have to live one more life if you die with insight knowledge, i.e., you will become a stream winner in next life. The Buddha did not like it because birth is Dukkha Saka. What you heard before was Nibbana was very far away. You take it as will get it slowly. Do not believe in what people say. After insight knowledge is path knowledge. Believe in what the Buddha had taught. If you do it slowly by slowly and Nana becomes blunt. Also Kalesa will come in and take a long time. It becomes on the right track if you know your fault because you have to clean up your Kalesa. He continued to talk about Bhikkhu Sati's story. See the Mahatana Zahaya Sutta, Majjjma Nikaya, MN.38 Mahatana Zahaya Suttam. Tongue consciousness is just eating. Knowing the taste of sweet, sour, bitter, etc. Is mind consciousness, mano vinanam. Eating consciousness arises on the tongue. Knowing consciousness arises in the heart. They arise at their own places. Eating consciousness arises on the tongue and vanishes there. It is not changing the place. Even consciousness arises in the kanda and can't change places. Consciousness or the mind changes from one life to another life is very mistaken idea or view. For example, you put sugar into your ear. Does the ear tell you it is sweet? Therefore mind arises at its own place and vanishes at the same place. One example the Buddha gave for the insight knowledge was like this. Get up early, and look at the direction of the sun rises, and you'll see the red sky. If you ask, why dawn arises? The answer is because the sun is nearly coming out. Here also, why you see impermanence? The answer is the path knowledge nearly arising. You will see the light arising, aloko udapadi, if you see impermanence. From Salaya Tanavaga, Vedana Samyatam, SN 36. 25. Nanasuttam. You had done wrongs before. Such actions are for the painful rebirths. It will be finished by correcting with insight knowledge. 
You don't need to fear it. It has to take a longer time for inside knowledge to clean up Kalesa. If you don't see it anymore and its function is finished. With the path knowledge arises and you see Nibbana. You don't see it as like the round objects of sun and moon. You know that Dukkha is ceased. This is Nibbana. Dharma Talks by Mogik Sayadaw, the 17th of October 1961. Concept, Reality and Nibbana, Ver. 2. Translator's Note. This was already translated in Group 2, Part 2 to 10. There are four Nibbanas. Sotapanas Nibbana, Sakatagami's Nibbana, Anagami's Nibbana and Arahant's Nibbana. The fifth Nibbana is after the ending of the Kanda with the existence of peace, Santi Sukha Nibbana, i.e., the passing away of Arahants, Paranibbana. What I want you to know is after the realization of the first Nibbana, you can live in peace, that is no need to concern about anything. For the other Nibbanas, you already have the momentum. Even you don't listen to Dharma, it will attract you and go upwardly for the higher levels of Nibbana. Therefore to realize that first Nibbana is more important. The higher levels of Nibbana are nothing in special on practice. Just go back to the impermanent process. If you ask, why couldn't I get Nibbana before? Without knowing, you take the near as far away. You have to strip off three wrong views if you want the first Nibbana. You will be sure to get it after the explanation. Dithi Nirodho Nibbanam cessation of wrong view is nibbana this refers to the first nibbana don't pray for any life only the earth increases and you'll be suffered don't take these words as insignificance anyone is asking for it will suffer i am correcting you for your strong mistake you all want to enjoy is the feeling aggregates convert them into truth and it becomes dukkha saka your desires for the repeated enjoyments in the human and heavenly worlds are superficial actions. But it's the same as encountering repeated sufferings in the human and heavenly worlds. Saka is the truth. Feeling and enjoyment are not the truth. I am explaining clearly your great mistakes. It's very rare indeed to encounter someone to correct our mistaken ideas and views. What the Sayadaw mentioned here was very true indeed. Even later Buddhists encourage people to increase D-U-K-K-H-A for repeated births. You only see the enjoyment of feeling, but not the truth in it. You are dancing by the strings of Tana. Here Sayadaw referred to human being like a puppet. Feeling arising means you are in danger. Its vanishing is you are in suffering. Therefore it is Dukkha Saka. This kind of prayers is covering up Nibbana. So Buddhists should know clearly what the outcomes of their actions, vows, and aspirations are. Tana, mana and dithi craving, conceit and wrong view are under the guise of metta, karuna and panna kindness, compassion and wisdom. You are making prayers with dithi and tana. Not knowing is worse than not having with ignorance and delusion men can do all sorts of things foolishly and stupidly. The Dukkha Kanda you are praying for is covering up Nibbana. You are making it as this is me and mine can't penetrate the Kanda. You are serving the Kanda like a slave and Nibbana is hidden. Craving for Kanda and wrong view on Kanda are covering Nibbana. So, you cannot reach toward Nibbana. Sayadaw continued to talk on then. Yamaka. He had the view of annihilation on Nibbana. He held the view that after the Arahant died and totally extinct. Then. Sariputta questioned him which of the five Kandas was Arahant. After he was entering the stream and became a Sotapanna and this question was put to him. He answered that no Arahant in any one of the five Kandas. In the Yamaka Sutta, then. Sariputta used the question and answering system to strip off Yamaka's wrong view to let him understand concept and reality, and then taught him to observe the nature of the Kanda and became a Sotapanna. After he became a Sotapanna, then. Sariputta questioned him, if someone asked him what happened to an Arahant after he died. 
His answer was the five candors were Anika and it was Dukkha. Only Dukkha arose and Dukkha ended. This answer was very important. Because only someone had abandoned wrong view and doubt could answer in this way. Dukkha ends and Sukkha exists. The Buddha always emphasized that he only taught Dukkha and the ending of Dukkha. Closing square bracket. The view of after an Arahant dies and nothing exists is the same as no Nibbana. The Buddha taught in many different ways that Nibbana really existed. For example, in Udana Pali. In real there is no Arahant, just a concept. Only the five Khandas really exist. Arahanta means, someone who has destroyed Kalesa. Pudhajana, worldling, means someone who has a lot of Kalesa. After stripping off the concept and contemplate the Paramatta Dharma will develop to Nibbana. Yamaka had Akeda view. Because of not encountered a teacher to help him for uncovered the concepts and found out the Paramatta Dharma. People are praying for Nibbana is without knowing about it. There is a place without Dukkha. Also it must have to exist. It is Nibbana, which only exists with Sukkha. This is not the Sukkha of feeling aggregate. Dukkha covers on Nibbana that is hidden. Dharma Talks by Mogik Sayadaw, the 19th of October 1961. Spiritual Faculties and Nibbana. In the Samyutta Nikaya, the Buddha asked this question to the monks. What is the Dharma to Nibbana? He himself answered it as inside meditation, Vipassana. In the Sutta, the Buddha's answer was the Noble Eightfold Path. Where to do Vipassana? It is on the Kanda. Which one of the Kandas? Kanda can be separated into four groups. Kaya, body, Vedana, feeling, Chitta, mind, and Dharma. Concentrating on one group will lead to Nibbana. Why are there four groups? Because of the different characters. One week in knowledge and thick in Kalesa, should practice on the Kaya. Too sharp in knowledge and thick in Kalesa, should practice on the feeling. Three weak in knowledge and thick in wrong view, should practice on the cheetah. Four sharp in knowledge and thin in Kalesa, should practice on Saka. Here Sayadaw used the word Saka, truth, instead of Dharma. Choosing the one suitable to one's character is quicker in progress. How to know which one is suitable for one's character? For example, observe Vedana and only see its arising and passing away or discern Anaka quickly. In the Satipatthana Sutta, the Buddha emphasized on seeing Anaka. Seeing Anaka is on the right path. Using the form, Vedana, Chitta and Dharma are to know the objects for contemplation, but in reality only Anaka. Closing square bracket. Knowing the existence to non-existence is Anaka or the knowledge of knowing the characteristic of impermanence, anaka lakana. Whoever discerns anaka will see nibbana in this life. You have to follow it throughout the practice from starting seeing impermanence. You will see the impermanence in the whole body. At that moment man, woman and bodily form are disappeared. This is the anaka lakana killing dithi. You will not fall into the plains of misery if you die during the vipassana practice, because it's killing dithi. Experience by practice in this way, one will never flow and sink in samsaric water. It is only moving upstream towards nibbana. Sayadaw strongly reminded disciples that upstream was always difficult than downstream. So put more effort in the practice. Spiritual faculties, indriya, are developing and mature only by practice. Indriya are developing in three stages. For example, ordinary faith, sadha, faculties of faith, sadhindriya, and the strength of faith, sadha bala, the five faculties are, faith, effort, mindfulness, concentration and wisdom. Here Sayadaw gave a very important warning for Buddhists who want to see the future Metaraya Buddha and enlightened by him. He said, a Buddha only sees and helps someone whose spiritual faculties are mature. So people who cultivate many good merits want to see him is possible. But enlightenment is another thing. 
even without direct seeing the Buddha, by practice and when faculties are mature will realize Nibbāna in this life. He said that after the Buddha's Parinibbāna many people had realized Nibbāna in King Asoka's time and ancient Ceylon. Closing square bracket. The Buddha asked the monk's question, and no one could answer, so he answered it by himself. We will reach towards Nibbāna directly if we follow it. The way to Nibbāna is no other answer for it except Vipassāna. So we have to make a great decision to follow it. We need to ask, there are five khandhas and which one should we contemplate? There are four groups, but contemplate one of them. Contemplate one group can reach toward Nibbāna. I will give you instruction for how to contemplate and become Vipassāna. There are four types of person, so separating into four groups. Someone comes for practice and can't let him practice instantly. If giving the meditation object not suitable to the character and can it be possible? Even possible, it could take a long time. He will miss the chance if he dies earlier. It is not easy to become a meditation teacher. After distinguish the character and give the instruction, you must ask, in contemplation how to see is the right seeing. If a dharma is suitable to one's character and the right seeing will appear quickly. In the contemplation of feeling, you do not see Vedana but their impermanence. In the contemplation of mind also do not see the mind but their impermanence. If impermanence appears to you, then the dharma is suitable to your character. These things need to be considered before the practice. Sayadaw mentioned the story of Ven. Sariputta's disciple, a goldsmith before his ordination. This story showed the importance of connection between the meditation object and the type of character. You all are better than the era of Paksekabuddha. Nobody could teach Saka Dharma at that time, even Paksekabuddha. Therefore we are more fortunate than the people of that time. Therefore I request you not to be lazy. You already completed with the quality. The important thing is not to be lazy. Laziness is dosa nature, and it arises for the d. a. process. The object is suitable to you if you discern impermanence quickly. Why have I said to see impermanence? Because the Buddha himself mentioned it in the Satipatthana Sutta. It will be finished only by seeing Samadhya and Vaya, arising and vanishing. If you still seeing feeling, mind, etc., even not totally wrong, nana is very low. It is still not vipassana nana. Sayadaw's view was insight knowledge started from seeing the impermanence. You must see its vanishing. Feeling, mind, etc. are only labels. The seeing is impermanent. A person discerns impermanence is on the way to nibbana. Contemplate whatever is arising and seeing its existence to non-existence will realize Nibbāna in this life. This was what the Buddha said in the Sutta. If you start seeing impermanence will continue to see them in the whole body. If you see them from there in a blip and from here in a blip, just follow them. I am giving you the method now. By following in the whole body, a man, a woman, a person, a being is disappeared because the contemplative insight has killed Ditthi. These are the arising and vanishing group of Dharma. Nana seeing kills the wrong view. Without the Vipassana contemplation we take the three feelings as me. With the Vipassana contemplation and see all the feelings as impermanence. Dying with Vipassana knowledge and not falling into the planes of misery is due to having no wrong view for falling into it. The active level of wrong view is falling away. But wrong view is still latent in the heart, anasaya. It doesn't matter. It's becoming clear that discerning impermanence means someone has parami. With the extermination of wrong view is becoming a sotapana. You can decide that this is my last life, neither a sinker nor a floater anymore in the sea of samsara, and becoming a person on the way upstream. Why? Magan path factors, are only going upstream. But don't become lazy. Going upstream is not easy as downstream. Making your spiritual faculties become mature. Only with more practice it becomes mature. 
First its ordinary faith. After that become faculty and strength, indriya and bala. It's developing with more practice. It becomes strength at the time of seeing nibbana. If you persevere in the practice even don't think about, it's possible or not. Just put more effort in it. With faculties become mature and hindrances can't come near. You could possibly be not free from dukkha even meeting a Buddha if your spiritual faculties are still not mature. Immaturity comes from laziness and weakness. You can make the decision that with the maturity of faculties will see Nibbana. The Buddha and teachers only gave instructions. Developing for maturity is your own duty.